did a couple of sound checks to see if um, it sounded good by the time uh, I actually recorded the video. So hopefully it sounds a little better than, well, from what I heard, because it was just on the speakers. But anyways, uh, I mean, I've been meaning to talk about the, well, just overall what what's been happening right now with uh, whether I see people talk about uh, what they don't talk about. And it's just as a society as a whole, right? Uh, well, I'm speaking mainly about the U.S. right now. Uh, America, uh, I strongly believe that the powers that be, uh, they have successfully divided us, and uh, it's just a matter of time before, of course, you know, the tactic, uh, divide and conquer, just a matter of time before well before uh, before they win well in my opinion they've already won because uh, just normies uh, in general they just don't understand what's going on and and we just we don't learn from from the wisdom of previous man, you know, maybe like, I would say like Socrates, Socrates, I don't know how to, how you say it. Uh, he would describe the, the normies, or I guess most people call them now the midwits, uh, that they just, they should have no say in the way that society should be should be run it should be held you know uh that includes the the politics the the norms the uh could include anything you know everything everything that, that makes up the society because they can't comprehend uh they can't see the the full picture they can't see the full picture and they're unable to assess the situation and make logical uh, solutions to the problem or to a problem or to the problems. So they will likely just how would I put it to work? Um, they will look for someone else to come up to a conclusion. And this is the tricky part because, I mean, as we all know, politicians, they they lie. They're, they're liars, right? And we know this universally, that they are liars. And we still trust them. Well, by we, I mean uh, the normies, because it's the normies are the majority. The midwits, you can call them midwits, whatever. I'm going to call them normies for this video. Uh, they are the majority, and since they can essentially uh, outnumber us, uh, I'm not even saying that I'm smart. You know, I'm not. I'm not trying to be like, oh God, man, like I'm fucking, you know, I'm a fucking genius or something like that. But it's just, uh, it's just the way my mind works, and it's, it's just they have so much power because they have power in numbers, and since, since the politicians they want, uh, they want votes. And of course, the easiest one to win them over are the normies. They are essentially apes. Uh, I don't know how else to say it without it sounding kind of offensive, but uh, that's that's essentially what they are. They're just animals, and uh, they'll follow basically these politicians. You know, these people who are. 
uh, uh, sociopaths and well narcissists and manipulatives or whatever you know whatever you want to call them because uh, they they essentially they were uh, the politicians they're how would you say it opportunists you know uh, of course they see that they can get wealth recognition and since of course they believe that they are above us the human race um they don't mind cracking a few eggs to make the omelet so to speak so as long as they keep winning they could care less about us and you can even see it right now, right? I mean, more than ever. I mean, before, I'm not saying before we had it perfect, right? Because, of course, uh, it had to have started at some point in, in the U.S. And it's just been a rabbit hole, right? So we entered the rabbit hole. I'm not really sure. Like, I'm not, I'm telling you, I'm not, I'm not that smart, you know, but like for sure, it's been, I would say, more than a hundred years, and uh, it's just the it, it, the deeper you go into this rabbit hole. That of course, right now we're man, we're so deep in this rabbit hole that um, now, well, just about everybody, even some of the normies, are starting to to get a glimpse of the of the of the vast picture that it is that that you know like they're moving and the politicians are moving and everything and they can feel it because of course the inflation um the of course uh you know most people that when they when they work right they start off with a minimum wage and all that but right now the minimum wage is criminal it is 725 the hour and it has not gone up but the prices of everything has gone up so this is why the normies you know just because of the money they are starting to see that um things are just not the way they should be right so i mean little by little they, i mean i've seen more people talk about it little by little more and more people are becoming aware of the problem but i in my opinion i believe that it's too little too late so i i don't know i don't know how to i don't know how to speak to people about what's going on because Every time you bring up something like this, man, it's so frustrating, man. Uh, like, let's say you bring it to a normie, right? Bringing that situation to a normie. They'll call you names on the internet. They'll, uh, even with people here, they'll just brush it off, you know, like friends, family, and whatnot. They'll just brush it off. Uh, but the, the, the one that sucks is that one's in the internet, man. You know, like, you're trying to spread the knowledge. Uh, I mean, hopefully, you know, like, to have a chance of fighting, fighting, you know, the the Goliath, so to speak. Uh, but they'll just end up just calling you names. You get banned. Like, uh, I'm not sure why, just... Anytime you just oppose the 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 powers that be, uh, they just think that you're a Nazi uh, Republican, or even if you're a centrist or slightly leaning left, they'll just they'll just call you a Nazi. No, you're you're just supporting the the big kids and whatnot and um, it just doesn't make any fucking sense man and it's tiring it's tiring uh i i don't know how they put those two together when the establishment is 
uh, of course, the establishment is the one in power. What do you think these corporations are all leaning towards, like, uh, extreme left, radical ideas, you know, like the, the spread of LGBTQ+, plus whatever, uh, and, you know, the centralization, I guess, of the public school system where the government will decide exactly what the child should know and lo and behold is motherfucking propaganda right and the truth like that we've known so far uh for ages where a man is a man a woman is a woman i mean i don't want to get into the maybe maybe i'll get to the abortion Cause I have like a little conspiracy going on with, I, you know, I'm just connecting the dots, man. I'm just a fucking guy, but I have a little cons conspiracy going on with, with the abortions and the, and the and the child trafficking, and well, all, all this stuff. But uh, I'll, I'll maybe I'll put it up in another video when I have my uh, my thoughts together. I'm just doing this all in one take, you know. I'm see how it goes. Uh, but it's it's tough. It's tougher than ever to talk about this stuff, and it's uh, I don't know, man. I don't I don't even know how to bring it up anymore, without them being like assholes about it and calling me a bigot and whatnot. I'm just trying to help. I'm trying to help to get you out of the cave. Uh, but. I don't know, man. Uh, I guess that's all I had in mind. It's uh, it's not even an uphill battle, man. The the the, the plane is just uh, it's vertical. It's just straight up. You can't you can't even. I I don't even know. I, I don't even know how to explain it, man. But it's just it's impossible for like a regular guy now or a regular girl like to oppose the establishment and the establishment uh ideas and and whatnot whatever man I, uh i think i'm gonna wrap it up here i think i got what i needed to say and yeah